Welcome to this El Nino update created August 16th, 2015. My name is Mark O'Malley with the National Weather Service Nix. El Nino is a seasonal and persistent abnormally warm pool of water across the equatorial Pacific Ocean. When this warm water couples with the atmosphere, changes occur in the atmospheric circulation pattern that can affect weather patterns across the globe. For impacts affecting the United States, we look at sea surface temperature anomalies near the equator in the east central Pacific. In this key Nino 3.4 region, we need warm water of at least a half a degree Celsius above normal to persist for several consecutive months in order to effectively change the weather patterns downstream. In these images and animations, warm water has been prevalent since last fall over much of the equatorial Pacific. However, in the past several months, unusually warm water has prevailed across all the Nino regions. In fact, recent measurements in this Nino 3.4 region have eclipsed the 1.5 degree Celsius threshold, as shown by this purple line, indicating that this event is growing into a strong El Nino. When trying to forecast El Nino, much of the warm water measured at the ocean surface can be traced to the evolution of water well below the surface. Organized deep ocean waves can move massive amounts of water west to east and from the ocean depths to the surface. This phenomenon, called an oceanic Kelvin wave, has helped warm the equatorial Pacific repeatedly since last year. In the past several months, numerous strong Kelvin waves have unlocked a large reservoir of unusually warm water up to the ocean surface. As a result, the measure of El Nino has been growing steadily stronger, and as will be shown, has finally allowed a robust linkage between the ocean and atmosphere to materialize. We can look at sea surface temperature anomalies across the entire Pacific Basin for hints as to what could happen in the atmosphere during the upcoming fall and winter. The plume of very warm El Nino water has been maintained across the eastern tropical Pacific and extending from the South American coast through the dateline. This is a classic El Nino signature. In addition, a large mass of warmer than normal water has been sitting along the west coast of North America. This may help support the maintenance of this tropical El Nino plume and could also influence the atmospheric flow pattern this coming fall and winter months. And lastly, waters have cooled somewhat over the West Pacific and this resembles a mature El Nino phase and allows tropical thunderstorms to shift east to the Central Pacific. The atmospheric response to this strengthening El Nino has been a very pronounced in the past couple months. Concentrated thunderstorm clusters have been far more persistent in the east central tropical Pacific. This is one definitive sign of a more robust El Nino. Also, the typical low-level easterly trade winds that normally occur along the equator have been periodically absent and instead we've seen bursts of westerly winds replacing these trade winds, allowing warmer waters to be maintained in the eastern Pacific and inhibiting upwelling of colder water along the west coast of the Americas. And this is another classic sign of El Nino. And more recently, the classic El Nino upper jet stream pattern has set up where an unusually strong subtropical jet has developed with persistent low pressure off the southern California coast. So in summary, El Nino conditions have become well established over the Pacific and the atmospheric pattern has already responded. Recent trends in the surface and subsurface ocean temperatures in the equator Pacific indicate continued strengthening of this El Nino. This El Nino, along with anomalously warm water along the west coast of North America, will continue to influence our weather and atmospheric flow pattern through the upcoming winter. Thank you for viewing this multimedia briefing, and please check out our companion briefing on El Nino forecasts. You may also find us on the web, Facebook, and Twitter at these addresses listed here.